everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to uh, pick open a Chevy lock uh, using, a, using a leashy tool. And um, this came off of a car I got from a junkyard. I don't recall what kind of car it was, but it's the same kind of lock the new body style Camaros use. And the uh, reason I wanted to get a leashy tool for those is uh, it's really hard to open them with the airbags without damaging something. And I don't, I don't like going to the door too much if I can avoid it. Uh, so the leash is kind of the way to go. It just picks the lock and I don't really see how you can damage it unless you're really uh, wrenching around on one. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, if you're not familiar with leashy, basically what these are is these, they're th made for different vehicles and they've got a uh, keyway so it actually fits in the lock just like a key would. And that's your tensioner. And then it's actually got the holes cut out and, um, you know where the wafers are in the lock so the pick goes in and then you're just simply going to each hole and um, I don't know if you see it on camera but you go into each hole and then you're just pushing up you know on each wafer and then you know of course you got the wafers on the bottom and you're just going through each one until you pick the lock and I'm just got to make sure you orientate it right because uh, the, you know, this this particular model car they're offset so, uh, you know, when it goes to here on this side, it goes all the way to the end on that side. So, you got to make sure when you start that you can feel all the wafers so you're not missing the last one. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it works here. So, um, let's see if we can get it chucked up in the vise and um, we'll give it a try. Let's see if we can see it there. You're just gonna insert it in like a, like a key. Make sure it's all the way to the back. And then um, I know this is right. I've I've taken this lock before several months ago when I got it, and I remember the words had to be upside down on it. But um, the way you tell is you just put it in, you go all the way to the end, and you just want to basically go through uh, each hole and make sure that you're actually uh, you know feeling a wafer, not just pushing on just metal. So, um, and then to pick it, what you're going to do is, is your tension right here. So you put a little bit of tension on it, and you basically just go down the row. So, we're going to uh, number one on the bottom, two, three, four, and you listen to that little click. And uh, let's see, it'll go on top here. One, two, three, and nothing on four. Three felt kind of crunchy here, so we're going to go back to three. Get anything on four, so we're going to go back to the bottom here. Nothing on one, I think one is set, because I, I did feel that. Two, nothing. Three, a little crunchy. Four, and we'll just, uh, a little more tension on here, try to make these ones bind that aren't binding. Still, uh, not getting much feedback on it. I think it was the fourth one up here, didn't get anything at all on it. So, I kind of really ramp up the tension here on it. Try to see if we can get some kind of result from it. I guess it was three. And I get anything, so I'm gonna re cock it. You can kind of hear them click back into place here. Start at the top this time. Now I got something on three that time, so I missed three here. Can I get anything on four? So I'll just leave it alone for now. 
I mean, they actually sell these too with the decoder on it too, so you can actually cut a key for the car if you wanted to after you do this. Uh, this is the cheaper one, it's just a pick. So, let's see here, one click, but it doesn't really feel like the two feels like it's set. Not three really. Nothing on four on the bottom. Let's go back to the top. One. Stuck again here. So now I'm try again. I'm gonna go on the top and start on the back this time. Click out of four. Oh, I got okay. That it actually moved a little bit that time. Moved a lot again that time, so I think we almost got it here. Probably just hung up on one of them. So I'll go back to the top. There we go, number one on top, and that's uh, it's picked open here. So uh, that's kind of how you use a leashy tool to pick open a lock, and um, yeah, it's a really good way to open cars. Actually, you just have to buy a lot of these different tools for all the different models, uh, but they uh, they work pretty well without a lot of skill. It's the first time I played with it in months, and yeah, take a couple minutes here, but got it. Uh, with more practice, you can be do it real fast. Anyway, that's uh, that's all for now.